All right, hello, good evening, and welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm. And today, me and Daryl, star of, star of stage and screen, Daryl Clark, are going to be doing a bit of flagging. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, boys and girls, now we're down on the Little Farmer's Farm again today. And um, we're going to be clearing out all the weeds from around here. I've just done this as well. Mick has done it, actually, me and Mick. And we've been thinning out the grapevines in here and letting them train. They're naturally running in various directions where we want them to, but I've got to, I've got to find some, some way of clipping those up. Might get big jubilee clips or bulldog clips and clip them up. But anyway, that's uh, that's for another another episode. That we're going to get all the weeds out of here down here as well. In between, here's, here's Daryl. Biggest weed of all. <laughs> the biggest weed of the lot. Not, not much of a weed there, kid. Thanks very much, mate. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. First of all, clearing all this weed out from here, all around, and then we're going to peel back the weed membrane that's down here. Get rid of all this detritus and crap, move these out of the way, chip everything off these flags, and that's where they're going to be going. They're going to be going down here. I counted them up yesterday, and we've got 48 of those flags, which I think are 18 inches square. We've also got these ones down here. Got some of these down here, so we'll have enough, definitely enough, to do this little project that we've got on today. And jobs are good. Fabulous. All right, guys, so we're about halfway through. We've dug all the uh, weeds out, or the majority of the weeds out, and we're just ruffling it up while Daz is there, just getting the hole in. We couldn't find a tiller, don't know where that's gone. But uh, we're ruffling it all up now. We'll crum crumble it down, get it as a fine mix, try and level it off a bit. Next step is start laying the flags in. But uh, this is the prep side of things that makes it easier when we start to come to lay the flags, get it all kind of level. Bit of a gentle slope just to follow the path going up there because it does drop off about three inches from the top there to where it meets these other flags. So yeah, that's that, that's the game plan. We'll crack on. Okay. Now this is how we're looking so far. So these are the uh, about 20 inches, something like that. These flags. Might be 18, I'm not sure. Um, but they're in and I've put, or me and Daryl, me and Daryl got up to about here yesterday. We got 15 in, and I put another six in there. So we're on, we're on 20. Was it 15? Yeah, three, six, nine, 12. We got yesterday, and I've just put another six in there. So we're up to 18. Uh, there's a base, um, concrete base panel there from from a fence that was broke. I'm just filling gaps because these are too wide to fit into that gap they're about an inch too wide which is unfortunate isn't it to get it to get into that gap so i've got that there anyway we're going to continue on with the flagging up to uh, up to the top but not today because we're going away we're going away for a little bit of a holiday went to legoland but uh, i might put a video up on that legoland if you're interested yeah so that's that's where we've got up to with this so uh, we've paved probably about 16 feet by about four or five feet, maybe more because it's the, that'd be five foot. That's about five and a half feet, something like that, that gap. I need to fill in these here as well. I was trying them, but they're a little bit too small. They can go in like, but they're a bit too small. I think they're nine inch, they're nine inches, those ones. And that's about uh, 11 inches, that gap, that gap. But we'll sort something out. I've got some of them uh, decorative pebbles. Got a sack of them. And them decorative pebbles are what we put in front of uh, the lady farmer's tiki tunnel down there. Put a weed membrane under and put the pebbles on top. But what I'm thinking about doing is um, filling gaps with the pebbles, but also like put, put the cement in dry and the pebbles in on top. And then with a watering can, you water them in. And we'll do, the, we'll do the same with these flags as well. You brush, you put cement on top and brush it into the cracks and crevices and then you just rinse it over with a, um, with a watering can and then that'll sink, sink, sink down then into the cracks. But you brush them in first, you brush as much as you can in to the gaps. We'll be doing that next time. Um, but yeah, that's actually not too bad, is it? It's looking all right. We did the... Um, sorry, I'm spinning you around again, aren't I, guys? <laughs> Mick, give us a left trim in the... 
the vine, the grapevine, I need to clear all this detritus out. But it's trim we've trimmed the grapevine back and it's looking okay. I just need to clip it up there like at the top. But I've just watered everything up now because we're going to be going away for three days. So I'll be back on, uh, I think it's Wednesday evening, we're coming back. Um, so yeah, I made, I made sure all the water's in there. In with the babies. Them peas and brassicas at the back are looking alright, looking a lot better than the ones at the front, aren't they? That's the next job I'm going to, well, it's one of the bloody next jobs. I've got to get all these, ne all these nets over. Get the hoops on and the nets over so I can get these brassicas out. Dwarf French beans are looking okay. <clears throat> They're not looking too bad, the Dwarf French. We're getting the flower on. Should be quite prolific, hopefully, bean-wise. The cucumbers are getting uh, a bit longer now. I've actually had to stake a couple of these up, tie them up. When I get back next week, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be above that first bar that's going across, but we'll see. You see how they're sending the tendrils out and they're grabbing on. I think it's cool that, isn't it? How they grab on and they climb up because they are a climber. Yeah. My seven cukes. So they're in. Some more French beans there. Dwarf French. More French beans there. We've got some um, purple jalapeno. Chilies. Those are the suckers that we took off. I'm hoping they're going to be sending roots out. Those are the suckers for the sun gold plants. We'll see how they get on, see if they've uh, sorted themselves out by the next time. I've got to get all these spuds in. These will be wasted if I don't get these in. That's another bloody job for next week. Plenty to do down here. Spud jungle. These have all burst through now. They're all coming up nice. Don't know about these beetroots. Mmm... Go into the poly, into the uh, twin wall polycarbonate tunnel. I've just watered these up. These are the cucumbers that were later ones, yeah. Mark it more, 76. But these were the later ones. So hopefully they'll take off. That's had a good deep watering. Uh, it's had two lots of, um, of water in there. And I've also put some water around the base there as well, just to try and saturate the, 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 the ground a little bit more. Um, these are looking fine in here. Those are the sun gold, those are the parent sun golds, to the ones we have in uh, in the other tunnel. That's, um, what's that one? Beef steak. Black cherry. What's that one on the end? That's looking a bit sorry for itself, what's that one? Aroma, aroma. That one. Wrap him round a bit. Wrap him round. Nope, they, they, they follow the string. I am going to be taking um, that needs trimming out as well. Where's my snipper? I'm getting a, I'm getting a side in here, aren't I? That's a um, that's a side shoot. That that's your main stem slightly thicker and it's got the flower on it as well it's got the blossom on it so i'm going to take that one out that's going to detract from that plant i'll snip it out before i go uh, but yeah the other ones are looking all right they're looking okay but i am going to be swapping these strings out for canes i remembered um that last time we did it we did use the the, the sort of plasticated uh, string we didn't use this because i remember from the year before so this is a caveat, it's an update from last time. I remember the year before when we used this, sort of like jute stuff, um, it rotted off in the ground. So we're going to have to put canes in, I think, now. So the, that's the only difference, is we're going to be using the canes. I was going to use the canes before, initially, but we didn't have any canes, so I'm going to get some canes this week, and, uh, and we'll be replacing the string with the canes. But apart from that, it's exactly the same process as I showed you the other day. Mm, sorry about that guys I, I, I remembered somebody actually commented oh I used string once and it rotted off of the ground and I remembered bing in 2020 that's what happened to me yeah okay so nobody's perfect 
And I can only apologise for that one the other day when we were using the string. You forget, don't you? Forget things, especially when you're you're a silly old sausage like me. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Nobody's perfect apart from Murray Poppins, and she's only practically perfect in every way. She's not hundred percent herself. Right, keep grooming your heads down, boys and girls. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the winter. I should be seeing you on either Wednesday evening or Thursday. But I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday next week. Queen's Jubilee. Isn't it? Her Majesty. 70 years on the throne. She's done well, eh? Good girl. Right. Bye-bye now. Catch you later. We love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.